welcome this uh, video is about NeoFetch when we press ctrl alt t and ask for the terminal we get this lines and this nice logo and that's NeoFetch kicking in so in the bash rc we have uh, included a line which says here it says down here just launch NeoFetch so that's what it does it gets this up here now if you want to change it then we can go to the neofetch.config and then neofetch and we have a backup so if we screw things up that's just a backup this is the one that's going to be red so if you open this and say i want to have this one and i want to have that one i want to have that one like i want it so ctrl s of course you can put hashtags in front of these guys so you don't see the host model for instance and we save this and we close it and we close this one and ask ctrl t again it's not gonna show these three extra lines that I've added, it's still the same. So the solution to that is simple. We open a terminal here and we make a symbolic link to the config.conf from config. So it's a bit strange to write it. So this is the destination folder or file and this is the file you're gonna make. So this config is going to point to like you see here it's going to point to that one so this it starts here it ends there that's the destination so if we do it again and say okay give me again a control t you'll see that this gpu driver and the cpu usage and the disk is there so that's an easy fix and it's going to be included in our next update in neofetch cheers